and friends, good to be back here with you. Greg Merriweather with Elizabeth Val. So you've by now seen the construction underway on I-10. The widening project is well underway, but the worst of the closures are still ahead. To make sure we're all ready for that extra traffic that will come as things progress tonight, DOTD officials are giving updates at tonight's Metro City Council meeting. Gabriella Mercurio joins us live from outside the meeting. Gabriella, what are they expected to go over tonight? Hey guys, good evening. Yeah, DOT project managers are expected to speak here later tonight and address two major concerns that everyone has. Construction timeline and traffic mitigation. With the first phase of the I-10 widening project well underway, the Department of Transportation and Development is working to keep everyone updated on their progress. There's a lot that is coming to this community, and so we just want to keep everybody informed as we move forward. One way they're keeping people informed is presenting updates at the Metro City Council meeting. Rodney Mallett with DOTD says project managers will give an update on the project's timeline. The City Park Lake Bridge, the uh, uh, Westbound side, uh, that's supposed to be going on right now. We're right on schedule. Uh, 2025 is when we'll start seeing more construction and more lane shifts. And how they're planning on dealing with congestion. We have a traffic management plan, and right now we're in the process of uh, evaluating should we keep it two lanes or should we do three lanes? We're looking at all the modeling and the cost. These are things Metro City Councilman Rowdy Godet wants people to know so they can plan ahead if their commute will be interrupted. We're going to deal with orange cones. We're going to deal with reduced lanes. We're going to deal with bottleneck traffic on I-10. But what are those other areas of our community? What are those alternate routes that we can all know and take to adjust? The city is working on some of those alternate routes through the MOVE EBR program to help reduce the impacts from the interstate congestion. Expanding roads, synchronizing signals, as we're updating our, our uh, software for, for our traffic signals, we can be in conjunction and coordination with DOTD. Even though traffic will continue to be a challenge throughout the project, Mallet says the payoff will be worth it. This is such a giant project, there may be some tough times congestion-wise. But we will have that where it goes down to one lane will be repaired. We'll have parking, lighting, bike paths, new bridges, an extra lane in each direction. And so, and for the next 50 years, we'll have a new roadway. If you have any questions about the project or just want to check on DOTD's progress, you can visit the website i10br.com. But guys, we won't be able to see any more construction or those lane closures until 2025. Guys. All right. Seems all so good to be true. We hope it will be true. Thank you, Gabby. Appreciate that.